hello 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 this is Frida welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to crochet this lovely 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 coconut bitty <laughs> or um, it can be called other names but it's a baby hat okay and it's done in two steps first we need to knit the hat and afterwards we're going to be i'm sorry not knit crochet the hat and afterwards we're going to be crocheting these so let's get started uh, for this tutorial i'm going to be using this uh red heart super saver strips and it's re retro stripe stripe yeah and that's the yarn I bought this at Walmart for $5.24. I was lucky to find one and I bought it. Yes. Okay, so let's get started. I have drawn a diagram. I don't know if this would help you guys. I hope it would help. So here it is. We're going to start with a magic loop. I did a tutorial on uh, how to crochet another version of the coconut uh, hat. Here it is. I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get away from the sun. And it, the sun looks like it's following me. So it's going to be like this, but different steps for this tutorial. And uh, yeah, if you haven't watched that one, please, I would highly recommend you to watch it. So it is uh, slightly smaller than this, just to point out. So on this one, we're going to uh, do a magic loop and start with uh, nine... Well, there's tricks and tracks, so I will show you how to do them. And as you can see, there's no lines. None, none of them has lines, so you can't even see where I started. So that's that's what I'm aiming for. So I will show you how to do these uh, tricks and tr uh, tricks to start start up, and then we're going to be crocheting without no increase until we reach row six. And then we're going to do double uh, crochets on each uh, double crochet that I see. And then we will have a total of 18 double crochets. Okay, so at the beginning, let's get started. Uh, this will take me a while to crochet. But you guys are lucky when you're watching, right? <laughs> so I'm going to start with a brand new ball. And then, uh, oh, the green came. Okay, we're lucky, the green it's okay. On this one, uh, the neon uh, orange came, right? See? Yeah. Okay. So I just used uh, well, this one. I still have a little bit left over. So just to point out. See, I have a little bit left over. So we'll see this one. Because I had a little bit left over. I started with that. But this one, I'm starting with the entire ball. And then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so let me just move this so you won't get distracted. And I hope you like this tutorial. I'm trying my best here and trying to get away from the sun. And the sun looks like it's following me wherever I go. Okay, now, so let's do a magic loop. Here we go. It's a four weight. And I am using a three. I need to change that to a 3.5, which, no, no, I crocheted with the three. I'm sorry. So this is a three millimeter crochet hook. Can you see my tulip? The numbers are erasing. So I believe this is a fake one. I don't know. I want to order the red. Uh, there's the red tulip that has the red. And uh, I want to try that one. Because I think I use a lot of three millimeter uh, crochet hook. Just to point out. And I haven't switched since i did the review i believe 2018 okay so this is how i do my magic i'm going to chain one okay, i'm going to do three single crochets okay three single crochet when you're using a smaller crochet hook than what the label is recommending your yarn will split that's when i know that i, I need to change my my uh, crochet hook but unfortunately i want this to, to fit a baby so that's the reason see it says 5.5 can you see the difference i'm using a smaller crochet hook that's the reason 
uh, this hat becomes a baby hat. Okay, and uh, if you're having a hard time using a smaller crochet hook, uh, what I could do is, I could suggest is use a smaller thickness of the yarn. This is a four weight, maybe go to a two. Yeah, but other than that, you need to use a smaller crochet hook so it can be tight and um, go from there. Okay, So I did my three here. So we have three. I'm going to start doing half double crochet. So three half double crochet. So as you can see, my height is going up. And then now I'm going to do, I did three, now I'm going to do three double crochet. So I have total, when I finish my third, I should have total of nine double crochets, uh, nine stitches here. Okay, so I can count, I count these V's, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're going to do one more, so the third one. The reason I'm doing this is to give the height. Okay, and you will just see it. Just, so pull this to give the height because I'm going to do it round and around. I'm not going to chain. I'm not going to do a slip stitch and then chain three to go up. When I do that, it gives you that mark, which I don't like on my uh, round items when I'm crocheting. Okay, usually, so we're going to do a double crochet right here. So usually you grab these two, right? Okay, for this tutorial, for this uh, pattern, we're not going to do that. We're going to grab it from the back. The reason we're doing that is when we finish the hat, we're going to come back and work on those, uh, the fronts that we left to create these bumps. See, you can even make a Christmas tree with like this, right? So here's another tip for you to <laughs> use a green yarn. Okay. I am going to make a double crochet, but again, I grabbed it from the back, okay? And then go, don't grab these two, so grab the one at the back, back loop here. So leave this one front, because we're going to, when we finish the hat, we are going to be working on those fronts. That's the only reason this tutorial is different than the one that I posted yesterday. Not yesterday, actually. It was done a couple of hours ago. It was after midnight because it took a, took it play. YouTube take took a time for it to load. Okay, so I've been working on these hats for a couple of days. So for for me to do the tutorial, I had to show you the finish item before you uh, come and do this hat. These hats can be done for hospital donations. Okay, and then automatically you will notice that it's uh, turning, see? So that's what we we want, right? That's what we want. So I'm just going to continue crocheting like this, round and around, and I am weaving as I go, which I don't like my ends. And at the back, don't forget, the back, you need to grab that at the back. And then you will continue doing this. And I forgot to put my marker. Uh, new beginners, they keep on asking me to put a marker. I'm sorry, I forgot. See, I don't put markers on. See, here is my beginning right here. Here's my beginning. That's how I know. And my first... My first one was this one here. Okay. So I will know when I come... Uh, when I finish my sixth row, what you can do is every time you finish a row, you can you can move your marker up. One row up. So grab the back loop, just the back loop. Just like this. And then move this, because I just worked on it on the top, right? So move this one row up. So we're going to do this for a total of six rows. Just doing double crochets on top of each other. So when we count, you will go one, two, and we're on the third row. So three more rows later after you finish the sixth row. I uh, know. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm sorry. No. When you finish the fifth row, I will come and meet you at the sixth row. Then we'll do our increases, which will double nine to 18 double crochet. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished the fifth row and I'm going to start the sixth row. So you count one, two, three, four, five. So to start the sixth row, what we're going to do is we're going to make two double crochets on each double crochet on the back loop. Again, please don't forget that because we need to come back and crochet on those front loops at the end when we finish the hat. So two double crochets on each. And at the end of the row, you should have a total of 18 double crochets. It was nine before times two should be 18. Just like this. <clears throat> two double crochets in each loop on the back. Don't forget. If you end up crocheting the two loops, what happens is when you, when we come back to do the front, you won't have that opportunity to crochet. If you don't want to, you can just make a regular, just a regular fabric without uh, creating these uh, beautiful bumps. So you will have a fabric like this if you do that if you crochet both okay i forgot to do two so always go see i start talking and i forgot to do two so two 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 Double crochets. And then when we come back to the beginning of the row, what we're going to do is we're going to crochet double crochets on each. Okay, so you will notice that it, it's going to be becoming like a fan like this this is what we're aiming for go back and count two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen and then this last two is going to be eighteen okay if you want to move your marker you can move your marker onto that last double crochet okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to continue crocheting till row 12 till row 12 and then we're going to start doing our increases so our increases is going to be less not double crochet in each it's going to be two double crochet and then one double crochet two double crochet in the same double crochet when i say two double crochet people think that you need to crochet two but it's two double crochet and one double crochet i got i received that i received that comment the other day and i was like surprised to read it because <laughs> i'm showing you to crochet two double crochet and one double crochet to increase right so that's the this is the increase row so i will meet you back uh, on row 12 just so continue crocheting double crochets round and around until we come to row 12. okay i'll see you back later okay so i am on the 12th row when you count it so i will move my marker right here going to start doing my increase so this was the 12th so what I'm going to do is on the 12th, I am going to crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet. These two are my increases. Okay, so 
going to start with two double crochet on top of the double crochet try to crochet as tight as we can don't want it loose and the next double crochet on the back don't forget is going to be one double crochet so continue crocheting like this all the way around row 12 and then we're going to continue crocheting on top of each double crochet one till we reach row 17 okay so i will meet you on row 17 to do our increase just like this so one double crochet and the next is two double crochet on top of the double crochet so we are doing our increase this is the increase row okay so i'll meet you on row 17. okay so i am on the 17th row starting the 17th row this is my increase row so I should be crocheting two, one, one, two, one, one. And at the end, I should have a total of 36 double crochets. Okay, so I am going to start my row, which is right. I didn't move my... So this is the row that I'm going to do. This is the stitch that I'm going to do two. So I'll put my marker right here. It's, I don't count the double crochets. If you don't have 36, that's okay. Nothing to worry about. So I did two. And then I'm going to crochet always on the back. Don't grab the two because we're going to work on the fronts when we finish the hat, after we finish the hat. So I crocheted one double crochet. And on the next, I'm going to crochet another double crochet. And on the next, I'm going to do two double crochets on that same double crochet. So I'm going to repeat this. Two. And then do my increase, which is two double crochets on the same double crochet. And then I'm going to make a double crochet on top of a double crochet. Make another, looks like this split. So I'll just grab that too, just to be on the safe side. See, then it fixes itself. Okay, and then on the next, I'm going to do two double crochets on top of one double crochet. This is my increase. And I'm going to repeat this all the way to the end. And, um... Yeah, when you come here, don't, don't get confused. Just follow, what, which is, you should have a one a double crochet on top here. And then what you do is, when you finish the 17th row, you continue crocheting double crochets on top of each uh, double crochet. And then we, I will meet you on row 20. Then we're, we are going to do our increase. Okay, so I'll be right back. When I when I come to row 20 I have total of um, 36 stitches uh, double crochets I counted so I'm I'm going to start row 20 which row 20 is two one 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 two one one it goes on until you finish the row and then you should have total of 45 double crochets I haven't counted this, so uh, I will count and I will write down the row 23 uh so this is what you do um we're, we are on row 20. we're almost done doesn't this look nice the colors changes and then you will see your increase uh rows because it's uh it's visible see with the double crochets and then here Here's my increase row. Okay, so I am going to start with uh, two double crochets on one double crochet. And then I'm going to go one double crochet, 
two double crochet, three double crochet. So there's three double crochets between. And then the next one, the fourth one is two double crochets is my increase double crochet and one double crochet so I make two and then I continue on until I come to the end of the row which is right here on top of here I put my marker always crochet on the back loop don't forget that because we're going to work on the front when we finish so I just continue like this. This is all I do. Sometimes the yarn does split, like I said, because I'm using a smaller crochet hook. And then that will happen. So nothing to worry about. Just grab this yarn that you see. So I did two and then one, one, one. And then two double crochet on the double crochet, which is my increase. Okay, so I will repeat this row. So there's one, two, three, and then make my increase on row 20. So I will see you on row 23. As you can see, uh, the increases are becoming. So I will meet you on row 23 to do our increase. Okay, so I am on row 23 and I overwent. <laughs> I went over. Let me just grab. Here we go. Here is my. So right here. I should have a total of 36 stitches. So this is how I look. See? So it should be this stitch, stitch actually. So here I am going to start making two to my increase and then on on row 23 we're going to be making two one 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 so four ones between and then two and then one 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 and then all the way to the end i haven't counted that one i forgot but uh, i will just count it and i will let you know so we're going to crochet one double crochet Two double crochet, three double crochet, and then four double crochet. So there's a space between. And on the fifth, we're going to do our increase. Looks like the yarn keeps on splitting it because it's the small hook I'm using, unfortunately, to make it. It's it's not that stiff at all, but uh, yeah, small. To make it small i'm just going to use a regular number five and then make one for myself because i really really like this look at it come on who does who wouldn't like a hat like this <laughs> what the is this hanging on the side i think this is the cutest thing so i'm going to make one for myself but i'm going to use a bigger crochet hook and it will fit me comfortably Okay, so I will see you on row 26, and then I will tell you how many here as soon as I finish this row. Okay, I'll be right back. I just finished row 25, and there's a total of 54 stitches, if you're just curious. <laughs> uh, I, I don't count stitches. I don't count uh I go with measurements so that's what i measure okay now on the 26 we're going to make an increase so this row is an increase i love the pink does this look nice <laughs> so on the 26 we're going to do two and then we're going to do total of eight double crochets so one one on each double crochet and then on the ninth we're going to do our increase which is two double crochet on one on top of the double crochet and then we repeat two, we repeat eight double crochets on each double crochet. And on the ninth, we do an increase. So this is what it is. Okay, I haven't counted that either. So there's not many increases on this row, as you can see. So I will finish this row. 
And on the 27th, we're going to do two double crochets on. We're going to do an increase on the double crochet. And then we're going to do nine double crochets. And then at the end, two. So we should have a total of 66 double crochets. But before I do that, I want to, I just want to measure. So if you're making for a, for a baby, for a newborn baby, I would measure it. It's about 13 centimeters. So what, what would that be? So this would be perfect for a newborn. See, it's about six inches. So six... What am I saying? Uh, so this would fit a newborn comfortably. Okay? If you're using a thinner yarn, follow me. Because we're not done. If you're making for a newborn baby, I would stop here and then start doing start doing the, the ribbing, which is front post back front post back post here okay, and I did six rows on here so if you want to continue what you we do is we do our increase so here we do two double crochet on top of the double crochet again don't forget to use the back because that's what we're doing the back loop and then so we do one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the ninth is a two double crochet increase. So I'm going to go all the way around and I'll meet you on row 27 okay so I am on the last row of the 27 to do the last increase before I do that I found my baby album uh, on my for my son so the head was 35 centimeter when he was born okay so I have that I just wanted to be sure I did save all my measurements but unfortunately my computer my laptop collapsed it we had to delete everything so 35 when you look at it the half would be 14 so this would fit a baby a newborn baby perfectly so i will do my last row of my increase and then what i'll do is yeah, I kept everything, and uh, here is me going to the labor, <laughs> and I even have the bracelets saved. Isn't this cute? <laughs> okay, so I'll just put this aside. It's a nice memory to keep, right? So I'm going to do my last increase, so right here. I'll just start right here in the middle where the increase is and then after that we're going to do nine total of nine two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, and then do my increase, which is two double crochet on top of double crochet. So I will finish this row repeating it over and over, and I will meet you right here, and then we will start doing the uh, the ribbing. Okay. Uh, if you want to make it bigger, what you do is. You do, uh, I don't know, three, four rows of just double crocheting after you finish this increase. But I don't want to do that because I want to make this for a newborn. I don't want it to be bigger than it is already. Then I will start my ribbing. SF. Oh, you know what? 
I'll be right back after finishing this row. Okay, so I have finished row 27. If you want to make for an adult, you would uh, crochet six, eight more rows of double crochet. And um, if you're making for an adult, I would advise you to continue making your increases. So what would you do is uh, 28, you would uh, do double crochet and then 10, 10 uh, double crochets between and then uh, on the 11th make your increase until you have the measurement that you need which is 22 inches around but this one is perfect for a, a baby so what I'm going to do is here I'm going to start doing my um, ribbing if you look at it see it's, it's going to be smaller than this a little bit not too much so to do that my ribbing is front post back post let me just finish this row and then what i do is i would start making a back post okay and then on the second row i would make a front post so I would continue making this front post back post about six rows and I would finish it okay so let me finish this and I will show you how to start doing these uh, ba uh, backward single crochet and I'll be right back okay so I have crocheted now I am going to end, I went actually over, so I had to frog it a bit. <laughs> okay, so going to come here and then make a slip stitch. Okay, I'm going to chain four and then cut the yarn and then weave it. So on the next time, what I'm going to do is I am going to grab a bigger crochet hook and I will show you how to make these lines okay so i grabbed the four millimeter crochet hook here you can see the line so i'm going to poke on the first one that i see and then secure and then make a chain okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab like this and then repeat it and then on the next one just like making a um, backward single crochet I am going to pull it and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pull that two and then pull it like this and this is the best way to work this I'm going to show you one more time so I grab the first one you can see the, these lines that we didn't pick up right so these are this is the ones that we're gonna work on so I poke my crochet hook just like this oops and I pull it and I chain one okay so one more time I'm going to go under and pull so we have two loops and then pull them at once it's like a single crochet but we're going backwards okay so the next one is right here you can see it right so we're going to pick this one this one so we're going to go like this go under pick it pull and then pull those two loops and then we're going to repeat that all the way to the end when we finish all these uh, loops that were uh, that are hanging in front because we already worked the back ones right so we hold it like this and then we pull so two loops don't forget it has to be two loops and if you hold it this way it's really comfortable to work it this gave me an idea to make rugs <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. So stay tuned. It's every time I work on a new project, something else pops in my head. And I design it. It takes a while, though. So this uh, took me two years for me to do the tutorial. Yeah, it's the, the yarn that needs to talk to you, right? Because I didn't have these yarns, right? Well, it's, it was really hard to find these yarn. So I had to order it from the States. And it cost me a fortune with the custom fee. But uh, lately, I've been lucky to find at my local Walmart. In the yarn six section, first I saw two. I picked them up and I ran to the car. And then last week I saw four and I said, yeah. <laughs> and I just continue all the way around, just like this. Okay, let me just go and finish it. While I'm at it, I'm going to put my tag on. See how it's, how it's really relaxing. And it gives you this nice touch, see? And it's gorgeous and it automatically with the yarn changes so get one of your tags like this i bought this from Adel design from turkey she sells them on etsy so um go and check my review i have reviews about it so just where i did my last slip stitch i put it like this so easy and i pull it here we go nice it looks nice too yeah this one is uh okay and i will weave this in isn't it fun it's on the same spot yeah so sometimes you need to hide stuff right what i'll do is i'll just make a tie to secure it right Okay, and then I will continue crocheting like this around and around until I come all the way here. See, can you see this last one? It's really hard to see. This last one. So when I finish, I will finish it up. And uh, this is how it looks like when you finish the last one and the color is going to change so if you want to see the finished look come into my instagram page and then you can see the finished look all my links are in the description you can go and check them my etsy shop my instagram page facebook fan page and so on so it goes around and around you can make a you can make christmas trees think about it yeah, think about it. If you make this wider, instead of starting with 9, you can start with 12. And this part would be wider. And then you can go from there. You can make a Christmas tree with green yarn, if you have green yarn. Yeah, so I hope you like this uh, tutorial. I just wanted to share you this beautiful hat for our newborns. This one's a little bit smaller than that one. Not very much. It will do the job. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to hit that notification button. So uh, every time I post a new video, you will be notified, indicating there's something new for you to watch. You guys take care, and I'll see you on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.